Tim Sherwood. And this year's uh, recipient of Mars Wilson is Moy Koreshi. Fundamental thing that changes, well, LRU is not the best policy, force fight out, 
rather than giving more space to something that wants more space, give more space to something that needs more space. We'll get a better hit rate. So we have enough trackers that can figure out what the utility is and then decide how much to give to each core. And then when I joined IBM in 2007, one big problem that at that time was that power center processors had a four megabyte private cache. So you have eight me private caches, and if you're not really using your cache, what to give it away? But then the, the problem was there was that if everybody lends and everybody borrows, it doesn't really make sense to do anything. If you are a borrower, you should not lend. If you're a lender, you should not borrow, right? How do you know which one is the lender and which one is the borrower? You said do that. Figure out which is the best decision for you for maximizing the overall hit. Right? So the key innovation in these ideas was set dueling, set sampling, and this idea was used in Power 7. The next change happened is was serendipity. I decided that I didn't want to work in caching. What should I work on? At IBM, there, those days, there was this thing called a storage class memory. Device people were talking about it. So I went to BG Street and I said, like, you know, these people talk about SCM, SCM, what is this? I don't see any architecture work in this. So, so we started looking at it, right? And face in memory gets more capacity, but it's slow, for read, for write. It has a lot of problems. So we came up with hybrid memory, right? We have VRAM that filters out more, most of the accesses, and VCM can still give you more capacity, right? So the hybrid memory architecture that was proposed in that paper is, is right, right now the de facto design for LVMs. One of the big problems for PC in memory is it has limited lifetime, and I collaborated with a lot of people at IBM, including John Kyrdis, uh, Michele Franceschini, Louis Lastras, Bola Tabali, Viti Srinivasan, um, and we developed a, a variable algorithm that did not require tables. So Variable is a known problem in Flash, but table based variable doesn't really work for PCM. We figured out a way to avoid tables. And we did a bunch of work on PCM again. The third line of work that we did is again happened just because of serendipity. In 2007, 2011 micro, Martin was presenting the low hill cash. I was the session chair. This was the first work that really explain the problem of how to organize DRAM cache. They really organize DRAM cache as a regular set associated cache. There's a lot of fun, interesting questions back and forth with Mark, with Gabe. And we came up with a design that was just a complete rethinking. Instead of a set associated cache, just make a direct map cache. Stream out the target data together. This will not only outperform conventional set associated caches, it actually outperform an impractical SRAM cache that requires like 15 megabytes of SRAM. And this is now the design that was actually used in, uh, a similar design was used in Intel, Intel KN. As a young academic, this was a very fertile area of research for my students. My, two of my first early year students got a PhD in this area. And they went, went on to industry. Um, so memory system is very close to my heart. Right? Um, and a lot of the learning in this area would not be possible for an incredible set of people that I got a chance to work with. First and foremost, my students. I, I'm really lucky to work with an incredibly motivated set of students. They, they, they teach me a lot. Second, my mentors who have been there over the years, helped me in many different ways. There are many, I cannot really enumerate everybody because I'm sure I'll miss out somebody. But there's one person I do want to remember. Uh, Late Professor Sulayala Manchari was an incredible mentor, incredible human being. Also been lucky to have a great set of collaborators from whom I got to learn. Many of them became very close friends. There are many of you, uh, I do want to mention one. Amir was being there, not only my soundboard, but a good friend. He's like my family member. Right? And finally, I want to thank my family. Uh, I come from a family which had very little access to education. I was a first generation high school, college, MS. With very little changes in my life, I would probably be running a small butcher shop in India. So I'm incredibly lucky to have a strong set of support. I thank my family and especially my sister Mona who's been there for me for years, my wife Lubna and Ikra. And um, I, I want to thank my parents, 
Um, both of them never went to school, but they understood the importance of education and instilled the importance of education, and that's one of the reasons why I'm a professor. Um, I dedicate this to them. Thank you.